Also fan TV, Turkish, um, that was much better tonight from the team. Yeah, much better. Poor first half, but we got the job done. Um, I just think it was the right team at the right time, to be honest, as, as in West Ham. Mm. If anyone's going through as poor as form as us, it's them. So, and at home. We've had teams come here going through poor form. Watford, when they came here, they were going through a terrible form. They turned us over. So you can never take it for granted. Yeah, that's true. But now it's a top four race. What happens when it's a top four race at Arsenal? We start winning. And that's the bottom line of it. Yeah, I'm happy about today's result. What does it mean? It can mean we get top four and win the signs. Is that what we want or is that what, what I want? What do you want then? You want to lose? What, what do you want then? It's, it's, it's not about do I want to lose. It's what does top four do for me as a fan? It means that we're able to sign better players in the summer because we're not a Man United. We're not going to be able to you know, throw big money at a player. So it's critical that we're in there so that we can offer some of these players Champions League football. But in the 19 years we've had Champions League football, the two big players we've signed is Sanchez and Ozil. Who else have we signed that would, wouldn't come to us if we didn't have Champions League football? It's just them two. For yeah, if we want to move forward, if we want to move forward. If we want to move forward, Wenger has to go. For Wenger to go, probably have to miss out on top four. So what are you really saying? Are you saying that you'd, you'd rather us not get in that top four? Look, Robbie, like I've said to you before, 10 years deep I've been Wenger out, so I've had to deal with two-year contracts at a time and put my shirts away, put banners away, put my feelings to the side. <laughs> now you're asking all of us, what would we do if he signs for another two years? Will we put it away? Will we quieten down? If we quieten down, it shows we're not really serious about this. I mean, just because he signs doesn't mean we're going to be happy. Yes, I support Arsenal. Yes, I come to the games. I haven't been the last two weeks, you know, it's my birthday mm. and whatnot. But yes, I support the team. I'm here cheering for 90 minutes, 95 minutes. You've seen me in Munich. Mm -mm. Last year I was in Barca. I'm going around Europe to, get, to watch us get spanked. So I said this four years ago that we might need to drop out of top four for this, this club to realise that the minimal profit that they do make and put in their pockets a year is not enough. And it, it will stop when we reach a crisis point like that. Mm. And... The problem with dropping out of top four this year is Ozil and Sanchez are on their final year. Now we could potentially lose them two and not have top four. And like you said, it will be harder to attract players. Mm. And I do want us to win, but I also want some excitement back in the club. I want to be excited as a fan. This is me first and foremost. Mm. I want to go into a season not expecting what I see every year. All right, let me give you a scenario. Right? Let, yeah. let, let, let's say that it's looking, it's starting to look more and more as the days and weeks go past that he will stay, right? If he stays, what for you does he need to do to get your excitement back, to get you back on side? If he stays, he needs to sort out our problems this summer. We need a left back. Don't go by a right winger. Yeah, we need another centre back. Don't go by a strike. Well, to be honest, we need a lot of players, but he never plugs the gaps that we need. He'll sign another area of play. Like this, this, this summer, we know we need a left back. I'm, I'm happy with our centre-backs. I think Koscielny and Mustafi, you, give them a, you put them under a Mourinho, they're probably the best centre-back partnership in the league. But it's just the way our tactics are employed, the coaching staff, the way our training regime is run, the way the manager takes the flak for these players. I think his mentality has to change and he has to be a bit more cutthroat. Now, this is me putting all that Wenger out to the side and that 1% of me is answering this question because 99% of me is saying he needs to go. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And, and like the infighting that I saw on Sunday, yeah, I saw it on, on mm. the, you know, YouTubes and the WhatsApps and the Twitters. Like, it's not on. Like, the people want to get slapped for an opinion. It, it, it doesn't make sense that people want to fight because someone has an opinion. Like, are we going to go out and turn this into Green Street because someone wants Wenger out and someone wants Wenger in? Is that what they want? I come here with my goddaughter sometimes. Troops, mm. DT come with their kids. Why are people causing trouble? Because the minute you start intimidating me, or the minute you start trying to grab something off me, forget Arsenal. It's not Arsenal no more. It's, it, it's a personal issue. So leave that at home. Like, leave that at home. That, like, I'm glad it's been calm today. I'm glad it hasn't continued on from Sunday. And mm. like, just move forward from that. There should be no more fighting. And to be honest, if you do want to fight, we can arrange it for the end of the season. <laughs> we can arrange it for the end of the season. One of the things like over in Russia where they yeah, meet we'll up in meet, a park or something. We'll meet up somewhere and we can, we can make it Green Street. We can make it Football Factory. No, 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 we're not on that. We're no, not on that. We, but listen, <laughs> that's the, people, the, the media percept that it's the Wenger out fans that cause the trouble. That Sunday showed that the Wenger in fans are causing the trouble. We're here just giving our opinion. Why didn't them, them lot come on the mic and give their opinion? Why didn't they do that instead of, we don't want Arsenal Fan TV to run? Arsenal Fan TV is not stopping. We're not stopping. This is our opinion. Like it or leave it, stay where you are.